Harry, what do you think about vitamin C? In my opinion, overrated. Yep. I'll just give you one example. In the Napoleonic Wars, when people were basically having suffering from scurvy because they were eating a lot of kibble, dried foods, because in those days, armies did not have refrigeration or anything. The only way you took meat and all that, and once that was actually used, only the officers had most of the better foods, and the actual troops themselves were basically getting no meat, and they were eating kibble, like the sailors, and eventually like those biscuits, dried biscuits and stuff like that, and eventually they would get scurvy from the, you know vitamin C deficiency. But what did they use? They didn't give them basically lemons. They didn't give them basically um, any citrus of whatsoever or oranges or whatever. What did they give them? Because those things are seasonal. They gave them meat. They slaughtered horses and they gave them horse meat. And that basically fixed the scurvy. And that's even in people that are basically, remember, these people are eating also kibble at the same time as they're eating the horse meat. Meat does have, I mean, when you eat, when you, any animal that, including ourselves, our own, our own bodies, when we eat, um, consume vitamin C, where does it go inside our cells? So why wouldn't this, why wouldn't the animals have vitamin C inside their cells? like we have in our side, inside our cells through GLUT4 receptors. It's just not logical, you know. The only difference is that because they do the tests the way they do them, um, you actually, there's only, there's only one lab in Germany that actually did the proper test and they actually showed very good levels of vitamin D, so, sorry, vitamin C in the meat. But a lot of the other tests, what they do is they pound it and all that, they get rid of all the water content of the cell and, with that goes the vitamin C, so you lose. It's like taurine. You lose the more water content you lose within, you lose taurine, but also you lose some vitamin C. So the more rare, medium rare, um, the or raw the meat is, you basically have more vitamin C content. It's like milk. The more rare, raw it is, it hasn't been cooked. It's very high in vitamin C. Um, you know. So it's a very good source of vitamin C, milk. But if you basically um, pasteurize it, you, uh, you eliminate all the vitamin C. So back in those days, they weren't pasteurizing and they weren't basically overcooking. And so as a consequence, people were getting more than enough vitamin C. The other thing is at the receptor site, when you're on a low carb diet or ketogenic or carnivore diet, and you've pretty much got no carbs, there's not, not even competition like these guys were actually getting competition from the kibble that they were eating with the horse meat but still were able to fix up their scurvy, let alone us. We get more than enough, more than enough, you know? I mean, I used to get more, um, you know, my gums used to bleed and all that when I was on a kibble diet than I do now. Even though I was supplementing vitamin C, I was still getting, you know, a lot of my gums bleeding and stuff like that, and I don't get that anymore. That's the difference. Also, the menoquinone force helped um, improve the teeth as well. This is the sort of thing. So vitamin C is supplemental. It's not required on a carnivore diet. Um, the Inuit, the Maasai, and all these, and the Sam people of the Kalahari, they all get it basically from animal foods. And in a low-carbohydrate state, you don't even have a competition at the receptor site. You get more than enough, and then the body probably even excretes some of it as oxalate. So the last thing you want to do is give yourself a high dose with, um, with uh, you know, th you're then likely to go. Now, there is a, prov a, a proviso in this. If you're consuming pasteurized milk and you're consuming a lot of beef jerky, which beef jerky dries it out and, and you pretty much lose all both taurine and vitamin C, it's nice. I enjoy beef jerky, don't get me wrong. I'm not poo-pooing it, but you do lose these nutrients in a big way. Under those circumstances, your body um, will automatically um, can become deficient in vitamin C. And this is where some of these people that have done, you know, like overcooked their meats, um, got rid of all the moisture and all that, because they don't like, you know, some of these people have done experiments, ended up getting like low-grade scurvy. You know, we've been doing it, you know, I've been doing it about three odd years now, nearly. You know, other people have been doing it for 12 years. 
not an issue. But I have my meat medium and medium rare. So, you know, so even, you know, there's still pretty much it's soft and bloody in there and all that sort of stuff. And so it's a non-issue for me. But a lot of people, you know, if you're basically, and I have raw milk as well, so I get additional vitamin C from that as well. So I get more than enough. So I'm definitely not going to supplement because then it could be a, become a problem. And I do a lot of physical work and exercise and stuff like that. So if, if there was anything going to happen, it would have happened now quite some time ago, you know. So, yeah, it's a, a well overrated on a carnivore diet. But as long as you're not doing dried meats continuously, I do enjoy jerky. I, I sometimes can binge on jerky now and then. But I do have regular meat as well. Really important.